All this month, high school seniors from across the state are graduating and heading out into the real world. But before they do, some grads are getting a special and creative gift from a retired teacher. And this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lauritsen takes us to Melrose, where caricatures are valued almost as much as diplomas. People who say, I wish I could do that, I usually tell them, you can do this. Those four words were Jim Plouffe's go-to words during his 34 years as a Melrose teacher and coach. What you're making today? Most of what you do doesn't turn out, but that's okay. You know, you can't, you don't make every shot in the basketball floor or make every 20-foot putt either. It sounds like a big job you got going here. Yeah. When Jim retired as an art teacher, it only meant he had more time to create art, from self-portraits to paintings. But those are just a sketch compared to what's now on display at the school library. Oh, I call them portraitures and caricatures. He officially retired 12 years ago, but continued to sub for other Melrose teachers. It was then that he began messing around a little bit more with caricatures. Everybody's got uh, two eyes and a nose and a mouth and two ears and all those sort of things for the most part. And then as you get to individuals, it's, you know, what stands out. What is it the chin? Is it the cheekbones? Is it ears? Is it a hairdo? When he started, he did about 20 caricatures for seniors and hung them up on the library wall. The next year, more students asked for one, and even more the year after that. So far this year, he's done about 120. I just smiled at it and just like, yep, that's pretty close. <laughs> now I look at it, it kind of looks like me. Jim sometimes refers to them as controlled scribbles. It takes him about 10 minutes of his free time to do one. Of course, as an old golf coach, he'll take a mulligan and start over if he doesn't like the way it's turning out. I think it's really sweet of him to be doing this and that it really takes a lot of time that he probably doesn't have, but he still does it anyways. Look for three or four things that make that person different from everybody else and see what happens. If it doesn't turn out, you blame it on the pencil. You're going to make me look like George Clooney, right? Like we talked I'll, about? Yeah, well, you didn't do that for me. So. <laughs> it's skill, coupled with attention to detail and a sense of humor that have Melrose seniors looking forward to this graduation tradition each year. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> That's better looking than a lot of the pictures I take. <laughs> but mostly, this is about giving back, letting the students know he truly appreciates them. This is a gift and, uh, that's as much for Jim as it is for the students. This place is it's pretty special to me. I have some kind of Melrose High School-itis or whatever. I just, I just kind of need to be here. It's just a good place. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Students John talked to say the tradition is to frame the caricatures and put them on display at graduation parties.